We're down at the Yarra Sculpture Gallery today to have a chat with the creator of the Alice exhibition, Margarita. Let's go inside and check it out. I'm joined with Margarita here at the Yarra Sculpture Gallery and it is a spectacular view all around here on all every single wall. Um, can you tell me a little bit about the inspiration with all the artworks that you have on show today? Um, the inspiration comes from obviously the story of Alice in Wonderland, uh, which I believe is the story of every woman or a girl, um, no matter what age you are. Um, it's the story of courage and the story of creativity and bravery and taking your lip. See how um, those women there, yeah. they, they jump off the boat. So it's about us taking a step and being brave yeah. and following that rabbit into the rabbit hole and um, going on adventure and um, following your calling, following things you love, following things you're interested in, and um, which um, gives you an opportunity actually to a lot of joy. Yeah. I believe in that. Yeah. Yeah. Were you always inspired by um, Alice in Wonderland when you were younger, and was that something that always resonated with you as a, um, a character to pursue within the art industry? Um, no, I actually was looking for Alice. <laughs> you know, it took me a while. Um, I was trained in Soviet Union, former Soviet Union, and it was very different school. And a lot of technical skills you acquire, but then when it comes to freedom, this is a tough one. And I came to Australia for that creative freedom. And when you find it here, you can go into any topic um, you wish, really, and explore. And exploring Alice or exploring the woman, actually, and the history of women and faces of women or faces of Alice. Um, this is great, great, uh, you know, pleasure. Yeah, yeah. and um, I was thinking today, um, it's a last, my, my deadline is here, you know, and then I will stop and jump into many other commitments and I'm teaching a lot and this and that and that. And I will always paint, but it was kind of painful to realize that this particular journey towards this exhibition is here. It's arrival. And I wish to continue. So literally my hands are dirty because I was painting half an hour ago and I couldn't stop. It's my biggest pleasure and destruction. And, and, and yeah, yeah, that's what I love. And I don't want to stop doing it. Yeah. yeah. Um, how much time would you say went into producing this entire um, creation here that we see? Uh, probably. Um, Around two years, maybe two and a half, certain ones I come back to, I start and I just have to come back, you know, later to get a better idea of where I'm going. And some of them you start and you complete straight away. Um, it's, yeah, but it was very busy um, in the lead towards this show. It was really, really busy because um, I found where I want to go. And so I've got already a name and a vision for my next show. <laughs> so that, that will start literally as of tonight, yeah. maybe with a sketchbook on my bedside table. Yeah. Um, would you say that you have a favorite piece in the gallery? Oh, no, that's not a good question. That's not a good question, no. <laughs> Is it because there's too many? Um, there are a few, yeah. I, I love this one with Matt Hatta and Alice. Yeah. I think it's um, probably kind of stronger piece. And then the latest series of watercolors um, um, where they're all in a boat with birds. Those birds came much later, yeah. um, sort of very close to the opening. And um, I couldn't stop um, working on them because birds are the freedom as well. You know, it's yeah. symbolizing the freedom. Um, but, but I don't think about symbolics too much. People will come and tell me, oh, you've done this and that and that. And they will find all the symbolism in it which is great when you've been told what you've done. But yep. when you do it, you're not exactly um, looking for logical answers. You, you're just yeah, working. Yeah. 
And for people visiting the gallery, what do you hope that they'll take away when um, they've come in and they've seen all the beautiful pieces you have on show? What do you hope that they take away from seeing the gallery? Uh, I, I've got a message for everyone, and it will be in my speech. Yes, and I hope they will, um, they will remember the message of um, following, following um, without fear something which is pulling you in your life. And often... Often you, um, you get too busy and distracted, but if you follow your path and, and be creative and, um, yeah, yeah, joy will come. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you so much for chatting and um, all the best of luck with uh, this evening and we can't wait to see what you come up with next. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So I've been going to Margaritas for about six years, I think. And uh, Margarita allows me to grow and develop my own artistic skill uh, in the best ways possible. She's my biggest inspiration. I love her to bits. I'm Ellie Kessel. I've been going to Margaritas for around two years now. Um, she's an incredible and amazing teacher and inspiration to me. Um, she's taught me so much. And she also lets you create your own style and learn um, in your, and go on your own path while still nurturing you and teaching you and guiding you.